Hi, fourth graders. It is Wednesday, May 6th, and I'm really excited for our day today. We actually have a pretty full schedule, so please pay attention to our video so that you don't miss anything today. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is please make sure that for your morning meeting assignment, you and edit your name in the Book of Blessings. Um, just a little bit of a backstory. Every year, the eighth graders get a book filled with all the signatures of everyone at our school, wishing them good luck as they enter into a new phase of life and go to high school. So the fourth graders will have their own page where you guys can sign your name by changing the color and the font and the size of your name on our page. So please, on Google Classroom, select the assignment called Book of Blessings and follow the directions on there. Um, the second important thing that we have today that's a little bit out of the ordinary is that today is May crowning. So it's a day that normally we would have mass, we would bring flowers for Mary, and we would lay them on the altar. Um, I have a class call scheduled for us at 11 o'clock this morning as our um, May activity. If you can make it, that would be awesome. We are going to be doing a drawing of Mary and then giving her flowers as a drawing, um, as kind of a way that we can honor her. Um, so again, our call is at 11 o'clock for May crowning. And then we also have another call today at two o'clock that will be for our class picture day. So please make sure that by two o'clock you have your school uniform on and you have um, make sure just made sure that the background of your video is nice and a neutral background so I'll just be sitting up against this blank white wall and then please make sure that your name on zoom is just your name you can do first name or first and last name but we're not doing any extra words or symbols just make sure that it's our name and then I will talk you guys through a quick picture basically we'll just make sure that our face and body is you know filling up the screen at you know shoulders and up and then a nice big smile and I'll just take a screenshot of the page and that will go in our yearbook for this year so definitely a unique picture day for us and then after we take our two o'clock picture we are going to be working on a so if your mom is around, find a new place to work during our two o'clock writing call so that you can work on a gift for your mom um, because Mother's Day is this weekend. Okay, let's go ahead and continue our morning meeting with prayer. Our theme this week is divine mercy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Jesus, you told Sister Faustina that any soul who strays from your love saddens you. Help us never stray from you. Like a shepherd, may you always lead us to you. Keep us in your care until you lead us home to heaven. Thank you for being the good shepherd. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and listen to Mr. Benjamin read from Rachel's journal, and then I will talk you through the rest of our schedule today. I'll see everybody today at 11 o'clock for our May crowning class call. Thank you. Welcome back, fourth grade. It's day three of the journal entries this week. We're going to keep going with Rachel's journal for a story from a girl's journey to the West. This one is July 21st, 1850. We have left the Platte and are now following the Sweetwater River. I have not been recording our passage as fruitfully as I should. Despite what grandfather said, I do have work to do. Anyway, at this late date, I should not I should note that we have passed Independence Rock and Devil's Gate and are traveling through the Black Hills. The views are pretty. I miss the open wide space of the prairie. July 24th, 1850. We are slow with all the stock we have to feed and water that usually other wagons pass us by. But today we overtook a large train that had stopped because several people were sick with cholera. Eight had already died from it and I am sure we passed their graves, but we passed so many graves. I have almost stopped seeing them. They are just a part of the landscape. Mr. Elias rushed past the sad settlement, and we all held our breaths. 
hoping to escape contagion. Mr. Henry Sunshine had a fever once, and baby George had the flux for a week, but we have been very healthy. Perhaps that revolting tonic works after all. July 28, 1850. I knew we were higher as it had gotten much colder, but I was still surprised to learn that we had crossed the pass of the Rocky Mountains. The ascent had been so gentle and gradual. When we came to the Continental Divide, we celebrated with a noon treat of strawberries and cream, but my heart felt sad. This was our final goodbye to our family back east. We have passed an important boundary, and I wonder if I will ever see my grandparents again. From now on, all rivers and streams flow west, as if pulling us with them. There is no turning back. Where we camped, there was another important marker. Snow. Snow in July. Perhaps not a lot, but still, there it was. While we, sorry, Will did not believe me when I told him about it, so I gave him proof. A fine, fat snowball smack in his neck. That started a snowball fight. Even Prudence couldn't resist. She, so she, too, is sometimes a ruffian. She kicked my, sorry, she nicked my ear, but I landed a good one right in her face. Poor Frank wanted so badly to join us, he hobbled around as best as he could. But he missed Emma completely, and hit an ox. I was hoping for Mr. Bridger. Here's the funny picture of Prudence getting hit, and obviously the ox getting hit. July 30th, 1850. Several cows strayed during the night, so the men went out to search for them, except, of course, for lazy Mr. Bridger, who decided the late start was a good excuse for a nap. Will was so disgusted by Miss Bridger's sloth that before he left, he loosened the sleeping man's belt, took off his pistol, and hit it. I hope that snoring beauty would not wake until Will returned so he can enjoy the effects of his trip. Mr. Bridger woke up much before then, but the joke went even better than Will intended. A small group of Indians rode into our camp, waking Mr. Bridger, who heroically leapt to his feet, reaching for his gun. Not only did he miss the pistol, his breeches started to fall down. While he frantically fastened his belt and searched for his gun, Mother and Mrs. Elias approached the Indians. Mother did not know whether to be stern or fierce or friendly, but Miss Elias assured her that since they were, wore no war paint, there was nothing to fear. Still, it was a worrisome sight, such big, strange men in our midst. They must have understood our, our qualms, for they dismounted and smiled. They, they called themselves Pawnees and eagerly accepted the biscuits we hurriedly offered. True enough, they were not warlike, but they did poke their noses into everything. They were especially curious about Mrs. Della Sunshine's corset hanging out to dry. One brave tried on his head as a bonnet. I could not help but laugh, though Mother glared at me, and Miss Poor Sunshine turned red as a beet. Mother traded some sugar for moccasins for me, and Emma's mother bartered flour for a pair for Emma. But when all the trading was done, the Pawnees did not seem ready to leave. The three Miss Sunshines grew more and more fretful. Prudence clutched Asia so tightly he started to wail. Meanwhile, Miss Bad Bridger was tearing through her provisions, swearing to shame a goat, still looking for that wear and tarnation gun. I am sure the Pawnees thought him crazy. Then, on some impulse she could never explain, Miss Louisa Sunshine dropped out her false teeth. I suppose it was her nerves, but to the Pawnee, it was devil's work. They rushed off screaming. I must confess, her wrinkled, toothless gums were fearsome. So the hero of the day was not Mr. Bridger, not Miss Sunshine and her teeth. When, they re when the men returned and Will let Mr. Bridger to his hidden gun, it was hard to tell who laughed more at our story, Will or our Mrs. Sunshine. Here's the funny picture of the woman with, with her teeth in her hand. All right, thank you, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, fourth graders, here is our schedule for the day. Since it's Wisdom Wednesday, we are going to be signing the Book of Blessings. So please open up the document titled Book of Blessings and sign your name. All the directions are on that page. There is no math work. For mass today, we are going to have a class call at 11 a.m. to celebrate May crowning. We're going to do a bit of a craftivity and we'll do some reading about Mary. Please have a piece of paper, pencils, and colored pencils available. You just need a blank white piece of paper for our activity. For reading class, please complete Wednesday's spelling assignment. Make sure your index card for chapter 15 is all done. We will do chapter 16 together tomorrow. And then please complete building vocabulary page 104 through 105. 
Your specialist today is PE. You will have a class call with Mr. Ely. And then in writing, we are going to have a two o'clock call where we will do writing and take our class picture. We'll do a quick lesson and then I will let you guys work on a Mother's Day gift for your mom. So please see Google Classroom for the materials you'll need, but it's mostly a blank piece of paper, a pencil and colored pencils as well. All right, I'll see you guys this morning for our May activity.